this is my planet series and it's the final stage of my contemporary landscape work so I'm using a new medium the computer and Photoshop I'm readdressing an old tradition in contemporary art landscape uh, by building elements of a landscape up piece by piece flowers blades of grass trees I began in 2003 and it's reached a point where I'm working on 16 different planets uh, that have all been built up piece by piece uh, and the, the landscape will be continue to be diversified throughout my lifetime um, it gives gives me a purpose for uh, my taking more direct observations in uh, places like Stanley Park um, where the nature uh, is developing in a cycle there's life or, or life is is a cycle of birth and death and decay and rebirth this is the first planet planet 11 the first planet that i i printed um, and it's the artist proof of it all this is the one that Jeff Bezos bought uh, and it's it's in his home probably it's, just, it's kind of exciting to have the object in front of me you know, but when I first got it I, I had it up on the wall and it really felt like I was I was floating and approaching this new planet it bridges a lot of a lot of gaps that uh, are formed by language and culture and religion and it just uses this familiar language of landscape to unite people around the world. The, the image of our planet, our planet Earth, uh, is, in reality is a very new image. Uh, it's, it's come into our consciousness so quickly that everyone takes it for granted, it seems now. That image of, of Earth has inspired this whole series of work. chosen the output as a Cibachrome photograph because it is so rare a printing process. It is very expensive and in a sense it copyrights itself by choosing the high-end printing process. So the Cibachrome print, I, I can only find a company who prints all this the way I need it and mounts it and backs it in New York and everything gets printed in, in New York um, and it, it, that, that choice provides safety for, uh, for this project, um, safety in ha having someone not duplicate. Yeah, the Cibachrome print is a very important element of it all. What you're looking at is a is a photograph. It's a photographic print, and I'm interested in uh, the art of photography today in this transition from film to digital. How do we define photography? This 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 project takes an extreme side of uh, of one argument, which is uh, the photograph in the absence of a camera. So there, there is no camera involved in, in this process directly. Uh, it's, it's, uh, the technique is more collage and painter, painterly, uh, but it really does bring up the question of what is, what is photography today? Hoping that in an art historical context that this is an example of one extreme branch of, of what can be considered photography of, of t today. This is, I guess it's, it's called Still Life Number One, and it's uh, the beginning of a body of work that, um, that I'm doing that addresses another uh, old time tradition in contemporary art, which is still life. And this, this whole body of work began 
when Rare Gallery in New York approached me and said, we love what you're doing with contemporary landscape. What can you do with another old tradition in contemporary art, still life? So I, I started researching still life compositions, stuff that I, uh, for a long time, just walked by in galleries and not really, and, and museums and not really given a second look at. Um, and I, I found this one time period, uh, it was before the camera was invented, and it, it blossomed uh, within uh, the Dutch painters. Um, so there were a lot of Dutch still lives uh, from this time period that I sourced, and then I, I readdressed flower by flower. I took my library of flowers and, and found something similar to these old Dutch still life painting flowers uh, and figured out where they sat, built them up layer by layer, um, and began this whole body of work that um, sources this time before the camera where, where there was one goal in the painter's mind, which is to duplicate uh, what the eye saw. It was kind of a simple time where we didn't have a camera, we didn't have a tool that could do that for us. So our paintbrush and the eye and, and the hand were of, of great value. I'm working on number H right now. Uh, and I'll be showing two, these two pieces, exactly these two pieces, in the Vivarium Gallery window next Saturday. I'm going to have an opening. In Vancouver, it's kind of an interesting time because we've just, the Vancouver Art Gallery has just had a three month, I think, long exhibition of the Dutch Masters. So everyone who has been to that show in Vancouver it has got all the information on. Dutch still life paintings, and I think it's a, a very appropriate time for um, this to be introduced to the Vancouver audience. I think they're they're ready. <laughs> oh, so is the bread. So this is another form of art, obviously. Yeah. Well, actually, this is a, this is the second okay. stage of bread making, where the lid comes off. The bread. This is fantastic. And oh then it goes back in the oven for 15 more minutes before you set the timer. And if you're around in 15 minutes, we can have some warm bread. And my bun in the oven is bigger than your bun in the oven. <laughs> <laughs> this is my... Well, this is a collaborative project between <laughs> Melissa and I. Uh, it's going to move, it's going to talk, it's going to poop. It's the ultimate piece of artwork. <laughs> It is. Oh. I'm, I'm trained as a painter. So I, I've been painting ever since I could, I could move before I could talk. My mom, my mom told me that the only thing that would uh, calm me really and truly calm me down as a child was when they pulled the easel and the paintbrush out, and and I could just that would occupy me for the day. So I've I've have this deep rooted connection with, with painting and expressing myself to kind of work through whatever's going on in my life. My approach to using the computer as a medium, an artistic medium, is a painterly approach. Uh, so I'm, I'm using everything that I, I feel comfortable with and I connected with throughout my life uh, and using all these techniques with the, the computer instead of the paintbrush and canvas now. So my latest piece. Oh my god, what's it called? Is it called bread? Uh, still life with bread. <laughs> um, this is one of my favorite sounds, but it's really subtle. When the bread starts cooling, it crackles. I don't know if you'll be able to pick that up on camera. It's very meditative. 